have a look at the sum if function. So sum if means that we want to add values under a certain condition. So sum always means to add. So we want to add values in this case for our first entry here where the condition of the item is that it's an iPad. So we go ahead and click in here where we want our first answer to go and we use a sum if function because we only have one condition. So it's a single if. So we use our formula builder here. Our range is the list of values that we want to use to narrow it down by the criteria is how we narrow it down. So it's iPad. And then it asks us, okay, what do you actually want to add? And we want to add the sale value for iPads. And then we push return and it tells us that it's 1196. That's the value of iPad sold. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for iPhones. We say, select our range. Only this time we type in iPhone. And this time we also want to add the sale value and hit return. And then we go on to our last option down here. We want to find out the value of iPhones sold by John. So we have two conditions where we have to narrow it down by seller and narrow it down by item. So if we have more than one condition, we have to use the sum ifs. So it flips around this time. And the first thing it asks us is, what do you want to add? So we want to add the sale values. Then it says, what's your first criteria? And we say, our first criteria is that it's an iPhone. And our second criteria, so we click on the plus over here, is that it was sold by John. So we highlight all of the names and we type in John. And that will tell us that John has sold uh, 1,297 euros worth of iPhones. And that is the sum if.